What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warring A Raiders of the Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now guys, I need to start off this video with a disclaimer. I know it's pronounced Karate. I, I am aware of this fact. I am painfully aware of this fact, but here's the thing. I was born in America and I spent my entire life here. So uh, for this video and for my sanity, I'm going to call it Karate. That's just how this is going to go. Where's Jay Quellen at? No Jay Quellen here? Uh... Do you mean Jacqueline? Okay, so that's how it's gonna be. Y'all wanna play. Um, th now that we got that out of the way, run that intro. So if you haven't figured it out by now, we're gonna be going over the martial arts style of karate or karate. Again, I'm gonna be calling it karate during this video. Sorry for you guys that get butthurt about that, it's just how it is. But because of how many names and things that I won't be able to pronounce in this video there are, uh, I'm gonna be leaving how to spell it right down here so you guys can do some research and figure out how, exactly how to pronounce it. So karate was developed in China around the 15th century and was heavily influenced by Kung Fu, particularly White Crane Kung Fu. Don't worry, I'm gonna get into all different types of Kung Fu styles later, but that's gonna have to be their own videos because there are so many. But totally let me know which one you want me to do first. This style is known as being a striking art, so it's gonna use a lot of punches, kicks, knees, elbows, you know, all that fun stuff, and open hand strikes like the classic karate chop. You got your karate chop. And in many modern schools, grappling and joint locks are also taught as part of the curriculum. Fun fact, a karate practitioner is known as a karateka. Karate began as a fighting system known by the Ryukuans, specifically their politician and government class. After relationships between the Ming Dynasty in China and the Ryukyu Islands was established, Chinese martial arts was introduced and mixtures of the two styles began to emerge. In 1477, King Shao Xin of the Ryukyu Kingdoms implemented a ban on all weapons. This caused many of the martial arts schools in existence to die out, leaving only individual practitioners to pass on the art uh, through word of mouth. And this was almost entirely kept to the upper class because they were the only ones that could get away with actually teaching martial arts uh, privately. Due to the fact that this was kept in the governing class, there were many situations where people wouldn't interact with each other and knowledge from different countries and different martial arts would combine. Meaning the open hand kung fu masters and the karate masters would combine. Technically it wasn't called karate at the time, its name was K. Karate came a little bit later. Over the years of learning and mixing in different types of Chinese styles, Tei eventually became karate and multiple branches of karate were formed. The one we're going to be focusing on today is going to be Shotokan Karate. This is generally considered to be the most popular and widely known form of martial art. And if you guys really want me to do videos on the other types of karate, let me know down in the description. When Japan annexed the Okinawan Islands, including the Ryukyu Kingdom and the Ryukyu Island, karate started to spread to Japan. Japan eventually renamed the art to Karate Do in the beginning of the 20th century, with the Do suffix implying that karate is now a path to self-knowledge, not just the study of technical aspects and fighting. They did this to many forms of martial arts around that time, such as Judo from Jiu-Jitsu and Kendo from Kenjutsu. Shotokan specifically became truly famous in the late 1800s to early 1900s after being promoted by Gichin Funakoshi and his son Jigo Funakoshi through his uh, public demonstrations at university karate clubs. Karate was then brought to America after World War II by members of the U.S. military who learned karate in Okinawa or Japan and then open schools in the U.S. Each and every man under my command owes me 100 Nazi scalps. And I want my scalps. The first U.S. dojo being opened in 1945 by Robert Trias in Phoenix, Arizona, with several others being opened and fully established by the late 50s. However, the first Pacific Shotokan school in the U.S. was opened by Tushitumu Oshima at the California Institute of Technology in 1957. There is a lot more history that goes on after that, whether it's um, karate's history in 
Olympics and karate's history and other competitions and in breaking into the uh, film industry, all that, but I could go on and on and I don't want to spend all day on this. So for right now, let's move on. Karate is generally practiced in one of two ways. The first being a self-defense style that focuses on real life combat and the second being a combat sport, the sport being a more modern twist on the style. Traditional karate places an emphasis on self-development, while modern styles of training emphasizes the psychological elements such as fearlessness, virtue, and leadership skills. Weapons have also since been implemented into the style as time goes on. The rank system which is made iconic now with white belt being the beginning, yellow belt and orange belt being in the, in the early days, brown belt and green belt being in the middle, and red being at the top with black at the end, that is put into that was put into place by the creator of Shotokan Karate. Technically, this was adopted from the Don system in Judo. First Don being first degree black belt, second Don being second degree black belt, and so on and so forth. At many schools, some ranks have a time and age requirement. In some cases, requiring you to be 21 or have several years spent in the previous rank. I know personally for my first degree black belt, I had to spend one year as a red belt. Now, there are many notable practitioners. Michael J. White. <laughs> Wesley Snipe. Chuck Norris. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Cynthia Rothrock. and tons of others. I mean, like I said, this is one of the most famous martial arts styles and most widespread martial arts styles in America. And so uh, if you're looking for other practitioners, the list goes on and on and on. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it takes a long time for me to put these together, uh, a very long time for me to research it all, especially when I haven't done uh, any training in the art themselves and then you know figuring out how to get it out to you guys in the best way uh so if you do like these videos and want me to do more let me know down in the comments i know it's getting a little dark so you might not be able to see me much longer in the, in the camera but don't forget to like and subscribe because my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out